Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Ben. How are you guys doing today? What I have for you today in this video is I want to talk to you guys about the iPod lineup from Apple. So recently, Apple has discontinued the iPod Nano in the iPod Shuffle. So for those of you who were such a fan of those smaller size iPods, well, unfortunately, if you guys ever need replacements directly from Apple, those have been discontinued, therefore you cannot get those anymore. However, you can still get the iPod Touch, same capabilities as the iPhone, just minus the phone and the cellular network part, and GPS. Um, and not only that, the iPod Touch uh, has uh, gotten a price drop as well. So for 200 bucks, you can get the very 2 gigabyte version, and for 300 bucks, you can get the 128 gigabyte version. Actually, let me just make sure I got uh, those numbers right from my notes here. Um, I do apologize for this. Like I had it, and I, I, I was worried that I uh, that I didn't remember the right facts, which apparently I actually did. So I went crazy for nothing. Um, other than that, you know, the iPod lineup is slowly starting to go away. Um, how much longer will the iPod Touch stay on there? I'm not 100% sure. Um, I, I I would say that it can't. It'll probably stay in the lineup for a little bit longer, and maybe at some point it might get discontinued. I'm not 100% sure about that because not everybody uh, are on smartphones yet. Therefore, you know, some people still want to have the ability to play their music, uh, um, play games, and watch movies you know, without the phone capabilities. So, I mean, worst case scenario, I'm sure Apple is still going to keep the iPod Touch in the market. But at some point, it may be going going to be discontinued because, well, everybody's on a smartphone these days. That's why the iPod Shuffle and the iPod Nano uh, are discontinued. People are using smartphones to listen to their music. And did Apple make the right choice? Well, here's the thing. Because those two iPods have not been updated for a while. Like, those were first... I mean, the last redesign they got was when Steve Jobs was still around and was still the CEO of Apple. And ever since, they haven't made any major hardware changes to these two iPods right here. Therefore, uh, I mean, not that many people were buying them. Uh, so the sales kind of dropped. Therefore, Apple is stopping production on those two models. Now, the iPod Touch, you know, it looks like they're still selling. Maybe not as much as the iPhones are, but I mean, other than that, there are like very multiple reasons why hey, it makes sense to keep the iPod Touch in the iPod lineup versus the iPod Nano in the iPod Shuffle. Now, me personally, I wasn't really too fan of those two iPods myself. I mean, the iPod Shuffle, not so much because all you can do is um, play music. And for me, I like to do a little bit more. The iPod Nano, I would say the fifth generation, interests me a little bit because it was kind of like the iPod Classic, but just smaller um, music videos. And you can also do basic picture viewing on there. Not only that, but it did contain a video camera. I mean, it, it, I don't know how good that was. It might not have been that great, but it's always better to have something on you better instead of nothing at all. So, I mean, the iPod Nano 5th generation, I would say, got me interested a lot than the 6th generation did. And as far as the iPod Shuffle is concerned, um, unfortunately, none of the generations were. But, you know, now the iPod Touch had a camera since the 4th uh, generation, although the camera was um, awful on that model. Uh, a, at least it was better than nothing. Uh, and then, you know, now the 5th generation got an improved camera, and the supposedly 6th generation would just... Um, hardware upgrades, that's it. Um, you know, the iPod Touch, I would say, was probably the most popular uh, iPod because uh, it, it was just like the iPhone minus the phone capabilities and GPS. In a way, this does kind of make sense, although there's probably a group of people out there that are disappointed in this change because uh, maybe they might have been uh, looking into getting another iPod Nano or another iPod Shuffle for whatever reason. Mm, but, I mean, other than that, those two devices, they didn't have mm, a lot of attention from mm, the consumers. Therefore, it just kind of went away just like that. And then Apple has completely taken it off. 
I mean, don't get me wrong, there might have been various reasons for why people want to get those devices. I mean, they don't want to have, like, the Wi-Fi capabilities in their MP3 player. They don't want to have, like, the phone capabilities in their device. Therefore, uh, I mean, these these two devices make sense, right? Just for entertainment purposes. But, you know, unfortunately for those people, uh, I mean, they're not going to have these devices anymore, which I would... I would think it could be a small group, but still, I mean, depending on the percentage uh, of the consumer that were still interested in those two devices, you know, it's either a huge hit for Apple or a small hit for Apple. And me personally, it, it didn't really bother me that much when Apple discontinued it. Like I said before, I'm not too crazy about it. I mean, e even the iPod Touch now, like, I'm, I'm okay with it, just not too crazy about it because if I'm not that crazy about the iPhone the iPod touch most likely not so much as well then you, you know pretty much all the mobile devices Apple has in their lineup right now that's including the iPhone the iPad and the iPod touch all those are running iOS so standard uh, Apple's mobile operating system um, runs the same way as what we're all used to therefore my dots throughout the whole Apple mobile platform uh, are pretty much similar and if you guys have watched all my previous videos you'll know how I felt about the operating system how I felt about uh, Apple's operations when it comes to their software you know, therefore it just wasn't very convenient for me but I will say you know the iPads uh, are still of interest to me you know, uh, that's probably like the only device I would get from Apple with them uh, with their iOS offering system. Uh, if I still wanted to learn their uh, mobile platform, which I do, uh, it, it's just like I'm torn between what I want to do with my smartphone choice. If I wanted to stick and uh, go back to Apple, or do I want to stick with Android? Um, what I'm trying to look for is how can I use both at the same time. Uh, so that's why like the iPad, uh, you know, is pretty interesting to me yeah I mean if it was just like me having an iPhone and then an Android phone uh, alongside of each other uh, that doesn't really make it that much convenient for me to learn the two operating systems um, not only that it's like I'm only going to use one phone daily and if I have two phones how am I going to wind up using the other one uh, for a different purpose, so that's why like, it kind of makes sense, like, maybe I have to get a tablet involved, you know, either I want an Android phone and an iPad, or if I want an iPhone with an Android tablet. Um, other than that, and I just dropped some pieces of paper uh, on the floor right here, but, I mean, other than that, the, I think the iPod lineup will eventually go away at some point, because when Apple first announced, like, their music service, um, they, on their web page, they changed the iPod button at the very top to music, and then that's when you can view the selection of iPods right there. Therefore, that might have been a sign that the iPod lineup is going away. They just try to hide it, even though they still had it on the market, because it wasn't what Apple wanted their consumers to really focus on a lot until they take a look at the music section. Then they can take a look to see, okay, what kind of devices would they want. And now they still have the iPod Touch in line. At some point, it'll probably get discontinued. I just don't know when. So what do you guys think about this? Do you guys think that Apple made the right choice to discontinue the iPod Nano and the iPod Shuffle? Were you guys in love with those devices? Were you guys not very interested in those devices? Curious to see what you guys have to say in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment. Also check out the description below for my social media links. Turn to Instagram. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.